Is there a relation between ADHD and fast comt mutation? And if there is, what kind of levers do we have to improve our attention when it's needed? Right. So when we're talking about fast comt, we're actually talking about casicol omicil transferase enzyme which drains and degrades dopamine from your head. And what happens when it's working too efficiently, your stable, what's called tonic dopamine level is a bit too low. And as a result, any signal which comes from the outside has a disproportionately high effect. Almost like when you're at the loud concert, your friend can be yelling right in your ear and you'll ignore him. But when you sit in a quiet library, almost any whisper will get your attention. And that's what happens here. Level is low, so any signal just distracts you away. And that's what studies, multiple studies confirm. This polymorphism is significantly associated with hyperactive, impulsive, and inattentive symptoms in the young boys and adolescents. So, what can we do to improve the attention? And there are two strategies. Number one is to divert this fast comt into doing something else. And that's where quercetin comes handy. You can get it from green tea, apple, berries, onions, or just supplement. And number two, you can just produce, try to produce more dopamine. And for that, you need more protein snacks. You can supplement with L-tyrosine. And of course, running the methylation cycle becomes doubly important because it's required to produce dopamine and you need to make sure that you don't have B12 bottlenecks, folate issues, so go watch this video next, make sure that your methylation is running and good luck.